A new international building of fire code law is scheduled to go into effect on Guam starting July 1st. Senator Tom Adda, chair of the Department of Public Works, says he understands the concerns homeowners have with this new law, but it has been delayed for over a year. The fact that somebody has raised the issue about, uh, you know, having to install uh, fire sprinklers, um, I certainly am in no position to make that unilateral judgment that that's not a good thing that should apply to Guam. I think that's going to have to be a decision that that really a recommendation that's going to need to come from the engineering community, from Department of Public Works, as to really what is base, what is best for the safety of the community. Currently, DPW has been working off the Uniform Building Code of 1994. According so to ADA, that code has been obsolete, and now what the industry uh, intends to use is the International uh, Building uh, Code of 2009, which is the most current code. ADA says by getting on board with the international code, Guam will be in sync with the building industry around the world. But according to businessman Al Israel, the legislature enacted this law without reading it. Ada admits he didn't read this bill before it was passed into law. I know I personally, as a chairman of the committee, did not go through each and every page of that building code, and it will be impossible for me to do so. Nor will I, does my committee purport to be a, uh, have the engineering uh, perceptiveness to be able to go through those codes. And that's why we have the public hearings, and that's why we rely on the experts uh, from DPW, from the engineering community, to have taken the time to look at that, and then at the public hearing to say, yes, the uniform building codes um, should be adopted uh, so that we can maintain our building standards here on Guam. Ada understands as they move forward, DPW and the engineering community will uncover things that may not apply to Guam. DPW Director Andy Leon Guerrero agrees. We do understand that uh, one of the codes uh, requires sprinkler systems uh, in residential homes and you know that's just something that uh, we really need to take a good look uh, at and and you know actually we have uh, by recommendation of Senator Data the ability to go in and make recommendations. Guerrero says they have a 90-day window to come up with modifications to this law. We have a 90-day window to go ahead and work on these uh, nuances and to make sure that we, at the end of the day, come up with a building code that, you know, that is uh, Guam-friendly, you know what I mean? Uh, certain things like chimneys or fireplaces, which don't apply to our island, you know, uh, need to be deleted and, and re-looked at. Guerrero says he will work closely with Senator Tom Atta and the engineering community to make sure the building codes are reasonable and applies to Guam homes. Dave McLusso, PNC News.